Hi Gemini, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Gemini, this is behind the scenes on your person, all right? Behind the schemes, behind the scenes, yeah, behind the, uh, I don't know, the garbage toter, right? And anywhere we can hide out to kind of give you a leg up on your person, right? So we're going to go ahead and get a charm. We're going to get one uh, for, for you and your person, right? But I'm looking at your cards. I'm using the Lover's uh, Path Tarot. Yeah, it's kind of a cool deck because it, it's a little bit different, right, to kind of, you know, kind of spice things up, right? Nobody likes the same thing over and over again. And, uh, you know, right now they're going through a big change here. They have the card of Transformation, and this is Persephone and Pluto. Uh, I feel like Pluto, the planet, could talk about death and endings. It could, definitely. Uh... Yeah, it could, because it is related to, uh, I'm not really sure, but it's interesting. Because Scorpio is, you know, could, this could be the planet of Scorpio, maybe Pluto. Don't, don't, uh, don't quote me, you guys. I am uh, taking an astrology course, yeah, very soon, yeah, I can do charts. But in the meantime, you guys, uh, your person's going through changes, big changes. Uh, a big transformation here. There could be an ending here as well, okay? And... Next to your person is contemplation. They could be contemplating like an ending. In other words, uh, like they are, that is the same card as the hermit. Yes, it is. But they could be like kind of thinking about it and let's see, the withdrawal, introspection, and retreat. That's what this is about. Your person's going through some type of a change or an ending and they are in retrospection about it, about it like, like the hermit does, right? He hangs out at home. Okay, sometimes this is also, there could be a Virgo here, and there could be a Scorpio here with this transformation card. The two of arrows means that they have come to, uh, this is the two of arrows with the two with the pierced hearts at the end. They're arrows, but they're hearts, right? Because this is a lover's deck. But this is uh, coming to an understanding. Yeah, it is not like the, Two of Swords in the typical deck. No, it is not. This is coming to an understanding uh, and like a peace or a truce and an impasse. Your person, Gemini, is coming out. They could be coming out of some type of like a... I feel like they're going through a transformation, but they are coming to maybe end some type of an impasse or an argument with somebody. I feel like that's what this is. So let's, have, let's keep going and we'll have a look. And let's go ahead and get a charm because you guys are charming. We're going to get the first one for Gemini. Let's see what we have for Gemini, my, uh, my opposite sign. That means that we are alike a little bit. Yeah, so let's see what we have for Gemini. Just for Gemini themselves. And we take the first one. We can get our mitts on here. And we have the, uh, the feather. And the feather talks about a new beginning. Yeah, maybe you have a new beginning with your person because transformation can also talk about a new beginning. Because it can talk about changes and endings, right? And we know when things end, yeah. It doesn't always mean that things end and everything's just the shits for, you know, five years. Okay, it doesn't always mean that. It can happen, though, right? <laughs> but my point about it is that this could be maybe, uh, maybe you are transforming something with them. Let's have a look. Let's look at their charm now. Let's see. We've got to do the reading to find out. And for Gemini's person, yeah, for Gemini's person. And we have the heart. Okay, and this is kind of the, this is, uh, yeah, this is a heart here, and it has like a little, um, it has like a little hook there, almost like it is somebody's locket, sort of. But let's see what we have. Let's get into the reading right now. And in the past, Gemini, let's have a look for your person in the past, the recent past. Three of Pentacles. What's on their mind is the fool in the reverse. Let's see. I'm going to pick up another deck here. And in the near future, your person, Gemini, has, let's see. They have the judgment card reversed. Now the hermit is showing up. The hermit is right underneath the card of contemplation. And this is the hermit. In their environment is the nine of cups. Okay. So your person, you know... The Nine of Cups, this could be you and their environment, right? Maybe you are their wish come true. So let's have a look at these cards here. And uh, let me see this Two of Swords one more time. 
uh, or the two of arrows, I should say, peace, truce, impasse. Okay, so this is about, but it can be both, right? Understanding a difficult situation, balance is attained, but eventually issues will have to be uh, confronted. Yeah, so your person is, right now they are reflecting, and they've come to some place of kind of peace and truce, but things still are not entirely uh, settled, so to speak. And they're contemplating over here, uh, they could be, you know, and it is about changes. I feel like it is about changes and endings, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, they are withdrawing to do that. Wow, your person. Okay, it's only you're complicated, all right? <laughs> So let's see, let's get a card on this contemplation. I want to see what they're kind of uh, withdrawing and retreating about. Why is that there, the contemplation card? I mean, it could be simple with true withdrawal, right? This man's painting. Some people do that. They, they go work on their art, right, to take a time out. They're like, oh, God, i gotta get a, I got to take my mind off that, right? Yeah. Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you there contemplating about. Right? That is you, Gemini, the Queen of Swords, right? The ever uh, wise queen. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be wise? Yeah, you are. <laughs> and let's see what else, maybe the Six of Swords. Wow. They could, be, they could be concerned here that there's uh, some type of an ending coming. But let's find out, because your person could be, you know, they are they are thinking, but they could be thinking of leaving. See, the Six of Swords is, um, he's leaving in the boat, right? But it doesn't always mean somebody's leaving. Like, I'm going to Spain because I live in Portugal, okay? I'm, you know, tired of it here. It doesn't have to mean that. It can mean that somebody is, like, getting to a calmer place. It doesn't always mean physical distance. Yeah. And that's what your person has done here somewhat with the Two of Arrows. Let's see here. But they could be thinking you're leaving, too. They could. <laughs> because they are still, like, there's some peace here for them, but I feel like they still know that they need to work out some details, something like that, that they are kind of uh, reflecting on here, right? Soul searching about. In the recent, let's look at the Two of Arrows. Why do they have that? This is an interesting reading because it's a different deck, right? Why do they have the Two of Arrows? and the King of Swords. OMG. This could be you again, but somebody's making a decision here, right? There could be... You could also be dealing with another air sign, which is Aquarius or uh, Libra. For me, your person is trying to analyze if you're leaving or they are trying to... Uh, They're contemplating some type of a huge change here. That's what they're doing, for sure. And it could be, you know, in order to bring peace, possibly, or they could think you're leaving. I feel like it's either one. Yeah. Three of Pentacles is in the recent path. Let's see why that's there. The Queen of Cups. Your person could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The Ace of Cups. Two of Wands. So this is saying in the recent past, you guys were either, you know, a great team, right? Or there was a third party. I'm not kidding, right? Because, yeah, that's why we have to continue with the reading, okay? <laughs> because this Three of Pentacles can talk about a third party. It can. We can't always say it right away or, you know, we have to look at the, re the remainder of the reading. But there could have been in the past. This person could be thinking you're going to leave, maybe. There are some challenging cards here, right? Let's, let's look at their, what's on their mind. Why is a fool on their mind? Could be Aries on their mind. Could be Sagittarius, the Wheel of Fortune. Could be the High Priestess, Pisces or Scorpio, OMG. It could be Lacking Courage here, the Fool card. Sometimes this is not wanting to take a chance on things. This is what's on their mind, but they could be thinking you're going to go take a chance on somebody else. The fool is reversed sometimes because somebody hasn't taken a leap of faith on somebody yet. Somebody hasn't 
gone after their, uh, you know, they haven't, like, gone after their dream or their adventure, I should say. Let's get a card on the high priestess. This could be a secret, too. Why is this high priestess showing up there? Or Pisces or Scorpio. We see transformation here, which is Scorpio. So here your person, what's on their mind again is more hermiting, more like reflection, more retreating, right? This man's in the church, and oh, he's in the church too, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this actually looks like Jesus, but it's not. It is Pluto, and Persephone is the, I believe, the, the Greek goddess over here, or his Greek wife, or something like that. I don't know the story of Persephone and Pluto. You guys can always uh, include it there. I feel like I'm going to learn, though. I do feel like I am going to learn that, yeah. But regardless, this is about transformation, okay? It doesn't always have to be the transformation that they are speaking to here. They're just using Persephone and Pluto because they could have went through some big transformation, yeah. So right now, what's on your person's mind is, like, reflecting. I feel like they, they could be thinking that you're going to, like, the wheel's going to turn and there's going to be some fate of events, did I say that right? Fate of events? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. Uh, fated events or change of events. Yeah. That's, yeah. And it's going to be fated, and you're going to maybe leave with a secret. Let's see here. Why is that high priestess there? Wow, why is that there? The magician. Okay, there could definitely be an Aries in this reading, but I feel like they think that you're going to, it's possible here, that your person wants to manifest the situation, or they think you are. Let's look at the near future and find out. Why is judgment in the, in the reverse? Two of Cups. This is in the near future. The Eight of Swords. So remember on this card, that Eight of Swords, the man is cutting ties. Right? He's helping this woman release herself from her bondage, so to speak. Her mental bondage, her fear, her restrictions. Sounds like what's going on today. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it just can't help but say that, I guess. But, you know, judgment in the reverse, you know, this is in the near future. I feel like your person is releasing themselves. This could be, yeah, this is interesting. I feel like the, yeah... They could be releasing themselves from worrying about you. Taking kind of a leap of faith on somebody or having a rebirth with someone. I feel like your person here, contemplation, the Queen of Swords, I feel like this is them and the Queen of Swords energy. Like discerning and contemplating and kind of trying to find and, you know, uh, putting themselves like in hermit mode, right? But aside from that, aside from the hermit uh, Virgo, right? But aside because he's here again, yeah. But aside from that, I feel like they're in this energy where they are just reflecting and uh, in retrospection, yeah. But they haven't, you know, they think there could be changes here and that they are like, Maybe about a truce, they could think that you're going to make up with somebody as well. But there's some details here your person has not uh, worked out about this ret retrospection that they're in. That they think is going to create a great, a great, I was going to say a grand, like Spanish, a great transformation here, a great change. Let's get a card on the transformation card. This is their first card out, like big changes, endings. Why is the transformation card there? They could be going through an awakening, but I don't really see that here in this reading. I feel I feel like they are being spiritual on their own, but I don't really see it such a transformation, uh, such an awakening for them, like a spiritual awakening. I feel judgment. I feel like this is here because they think you want to reunite with somebody here, like a judgment, like a rebirth. Mm -hmm. The moon card. This person could be. Cancer. They're in the dark here. They. I feel like what they think is that this is like the hidden and the unknown. They think there, there could be a transformation here, maybe. That you're going to go after somebody you want. I feel like that's it. It could be vice versa because you did get the, the feather. The feather is about like taking flight. Birds, right? Yeah. 
And this maybe is not them cutting ties. This could be you showing up in their future. Cutting ties to have a rebirth with somebody. Maybe somebody who was a Virgo right over here. Yeah, we always have to look at the adjacent cards, right? These cards here, way over here, stuff like that, right? <laughs> Why is that hermit card there? Let's see. And this is in their concern. This is what they're concerned about. They think you're going to go off with a Virgo, or they're a Virgo. But whatever they are concerned about is about changes that they think could be coming. Your person can have some fear here. The full card in the reverse can sometimes indicate fear. Like, I don't have a lot of courage. But I feel like it really has to do with they think you are going to take a leap of faith on somebody. That's what this is. And I, at the same time, I feel like your person kind of wants to drop this. Like, they don't want to worry about this anymore. They're like, they're thinking about it now, but I feel like on some level it is not as uh, disruptive to them as it has been. Uh, yeah. Eight of Cups. This is their concern. See, they think you're going to leave with somebody. OMG. Okay. So maybe they are super concerned here. <laughs> I said I didn't see him grieving yet, though I didn't. I didn't see any, you know, yeah, I haven't seen them. Uh, is the tower here? No, I haven't seen them in the tower. I haven't seen them with the Five of Cups yet. But it could be coming, right? Let's see what else they could be concerned about. Wow, the Eight of, cu eight of Cups. Why, why are they concerned with that? Temperance. You could be a Sagittarian in this reading, right, Gemini? You right? Because that's a that's your opposite sign. You guys are pretty good together, air and fire. There could be a, a Sagittarius here. Here's the Wheel of Fortune right here, and here is Temperance. But in any event, they are fearing you're leaving. They could be fearing you're leaving here because you want to go and heal the situation with somebody else, right? Or you want, like, maybe you have some spiritual connection with somebody else. Temperance is very spiritual. It's an angel. Right? But they could feel that you are going, you want to go to, towards somebody that you feel like is maybe your soulmate. Or somebody you are, like, kind of grounded with. You feel grounded with. Uh, let's see, what else are they concerned about? Why is temperance there? Page of Swords. This is what they, this is, they just need more info here. This is why they are in contemplation. This is why they have the Four of Swords over here. Right? They have the, they are contemplating this, definitely. Like, in soul search mood, soul searching. And in their environment is the Nine of Cups. And why would that be their environment? The Sun card is in the reverse. Wow, you see? Yeah, this could be a Leo here. The Fool card. Your person, I feel like what this is in their environment is a, a, like a kind of an unclarity. That the, that's not a good word. But they're not sure here. The sun card's in the reverse. They don't have clarity here. They, uh, you could be their nine of cups, their everything. But they think that you're going to take a leap of faith on somebody else. That's what they think. That's why the sun card is in the reverse. They can't get clarity. That's what this is about. So your person over here is uh, that's what they're they're trying to figure out here if you're going to walk away from them, all right? So we're going to find out over on Vimeo, yeah. And we're going to look at what they want and their outcome here, and then we're going to talk about how they feel, what they could be hiding from you, or what is unknown, uh, and also uh, the block, the major block, and the future between you both. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have a problem with the extended, please send me an email. Thank you so much, guys.